Matrix ataxia results in the loss of function of cells in the brain and spinal cord, the two areas that make up the central nervous system. However, the disease does not cause changes in these cells to occur all at once. As we learned in a previous video, the primary sensory neurons of the spinal cord are affected early in the disease, but other parts of the spinal cord and brain don't stop functioning until later in the disease. A group of FA researchers came together to collect and analyze all available data on what is known about how FA affects the spinal cord and brain. They wrote a comprehensive summary of all these findings. This group of researchers included doctors Ian Harding, David Lynch, Arnulf Kopin, and Massimo Pandolfo. Each of these researchers has been supported by FARA and has a special interest in FA. For example, Dr. Ian Harding is an expert in imaging the brain and spinal cord. This summary is now published in the scientific journal Human Gene Therapy. FARA helped to make sure this publication is accessible to everyone by paying a fee to make it open access and not behind a paywall. You can find a link to this publication below. Other FA researchers and companies that are developing treatment for FA are now using the comprehensive summary to plan their experiments and clinical trials. We want to thank all the patients and families who support FA research and the community for raising funds and awareness to help get this important paper published. The project we just learned about is One Seed, One Tool, funded by your donations, championed by your engagement and your direct participation in FA research that is necessary to plant, tend, and nourish our garden of therapeutics. Thank you, FA community, for bringing us closer to treatments.